love when cis people try to like out ally you because it'll be like so i know this person and he's non-binary and um i think you mean they're non-binary no he uses he him pronouns i oh i, I didn't know you could do that Nine times out of 10 when people meet me, they think I'm a woman, but yesterday somebody came up to me and she was like, so I'm supposed to meet with a person named Sade because she's supposed to help me with something. And I was like, oh, that's me. My name is Sade. And she's like, no, the woman named Sade, she's supposed to help me. And I was like, this person doesn't think I'm a woman. Okay, um, that's exciting. But also I need to help this woman because I am that woman named Sade. And so I was like, no, I, I can assure you that's me. My name is Sade. I am the woman named Sade. Um, but inside I was like, I don't even care that I had to just call myself a woman because she did not perceive me as one. That's a win. Just kidding, the kid will keep killing this shit, oh. We've had a hell of a ride, but you thought we were riding to heaven. Well, I motherfucking lost. Are you a member of the LGBTQ community? No. Um, um. No. I am not. Which of these three things are typically worn to signal that you're queer to other queer people? A. Sunglasses on your head. B, wearing your shirt inside out. Or C, a carabiner on your belt. Say the second one. To all of my lesbian friends out there, it's definitely C. A golden retriever and a Subaru, I think. <laughs> I, I don't think it's any of those things. I think I, I wear a carabiner. Ally! Ally! <laughs> definitely wear sunglasses on my head. A shirt inside out? I've yes. Done that. There is a right answer though, and I hate to tell you this, <laughs> is a carabiner on your belt loop. I'm part of the community, guys, so. I lie. <laughs> she was a boy, he was a girl, they were both gender fluid. They had a love you couldn't describe, through cis heteronormative eyes. They were both skater boys, they said see you later boys, to all the trans misogynists. Now they're both superstars, slamming on their guitars in this universe. They also have a really cool band together. <laughs> During the warmer months, I have a pretty varied wardrobe, but once autumn slash winter rolls around, I tend to dress pretty consistently masculine, and I've just realized my gender fluid freezes solid once it gets cold out. No Garfield, the cable's out. What's wrong with this thing? Did you hear what I said? The cable's out. Maybe it needs new batteries. Garfield, listen to me carefully. The cable is out. The cable- When your neighbors are homophobes, and it's December, is gay. Hi, 
I'm Ez and I'm celebrating queer joy and today I'm going to talk about me being bi and how I came out. So I was actually quite late on coming out. I'm 21 now and I came out as bi when I was 19 in the car with my family. They were all in the car at the same time so I thought this is the best time to just tell them. I told them all and they were all pretty normal about it to be honest. So I actually had a boyfriend at the time so me coming out as bi I felt like it was more of like a <gasps> Than it was but no no one was particularly shocked then the funniest thing was when i told my friends in brighton they were just like duh <laughs> so that is how i came out and for any of you that don't know i'm going to explain what bisexual means so being bisexual means that you're attracted to two or more genders i'm non-binary and i'm still bisexual there's a lot of discourse as to whether being bisexual includes trans people of course it includes trans people it includes everybody non-binary falls under the trans umbrella trans men are men trans women are women and of course it's all involved in being bisexual LGBTQRSTUV. Well, how about an H in there for heterosexual? How about a C in there for Christian and conservative? How about no? I'm a beer and wine drinker, but once I start, it's hard for me to stop sometimes. You're an alcoholic. Y is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a yellow bone, long hair star, star. Thick and hips come get in my car. Pop, you're at a family funeral, but it's at a yacht club and half of the family is queer, including you. princess too. What kind of a princess are you? Uh, Do you have magic hair? No. Magic hands? No. Do animals talk to you? No. Were you poisoned? No. Cursed? Cursed? No. Kidnapped, Kidnapped or enslaved? enslaved? No. Are you guys okay? Should I call the police? Are you a gal? No. Are you a boy? No. i just this person. I am. Elliot Anna. Am I you? A huge school district in the Purple Swing State just passed some of the most expansive protections for transgender students of any school district in the country. The state is North Carolina, and Durham Public Schools passed an exhaustive policy protecting all transgender students in the state. This policy covers things like name changes in emails and on top of tests and on report cards. Anything that does not necessarily need to have your legal name on it no longer needs it in Durham. It also covers misgendering and states that misgendering is a form of bullying and harassment and forbids staff and other students to do so. Lastly, it protects transgender students' access to sports, restrooms, and locker rooms. It also protects teachers' access as well. This comes after several anti-LGBTQ candidates lost statewide in North Carolina and all over the country. It's amazing to see school boards in swing states begin to support transgender students with very strong policies. I hope that these model policies are adopted nationwide. Welcome. 
babies. To the Fruity Pebbles Castle of Torment, a scary castle with 100 rats. Gender? I hardly know her. Um, actually, we don't know gender's pronouns, so we should use they, them instead of she, her. Um, actually, gender's just a concept, so we should use it, it's. Um, actually, gender's just a social construct that isn't real, so we shouldn't refer to it at all. Um, actually, gender is a very real thing to a lot of people. We just shouldn't be joking about it. Oh. Actually, I thought the joke was pretty funny. Um, actually, um, actually, 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 um, actually, um, actually, um, I'm so fresh, man. Y'all scared to do it, I do it. <laughs> Today we're going to look at horribly offensive anti-LGBTQ Facebook memes together, yay! Disclaimer, I'm pansexual, so making fun of these horrible memes is a great way to take our power back. So let's look. God is real. How can I believe you if you don't have any physical proof? I'm actually a woman. So true! Wait, is this suggesting that anybody who's trans has to drop their pants to prove what they are? What the f- How low can you go? Besides dropping your pants low. Kindergartners, I want to learn my ABCs. Public school teachers, I said we gay today. Honestly, <laughs> this one really makes me chuckle. Like what? Do you think that they only teach the gay BCs now? This one explains itself. This one's my favorite. I miss the days when the bearded lady and tattoo man were people you saw at the circus instead of next door. Well, bitch, I don't work the circus for free. Pay up if you're trying to have a look. Like and share for part two. comment was under one of my recent videos and it's something that I hear all the time. The gays call everyone homophobic for not agreeing with their lifestyle. Which makes sense because that is quite literally the definition of homophobia. The mere fact that y'all get to disagree with our sexual orientation or call it a lifestyle is homophobia. And I think that y'all forget that bigotry can be covert as well. It doesn't have to be loud and hateful. So let's draw a line in the sand right now. If you have any type of fear, dislike, aversion, or bias to homosexuality, you are homophobic. If you have a problem with your kids seeing this and not this, that infers bias, homophobic. If you dislike gay people or homosexuality because your religion says you should, uh, sorry, call Jesus and tell him I said you're homophobic. And the fact that so many of y'all hate being called that means that you know it's a bad thing to be. So either unlearn that belief system or don't get huffy when somebody calls you a duck if you're quacking and you got motherfucking feathers. Good day. Oh, let me come home. Home is wherever I'm with you. Oh, let me come home. Home is wherever I'm with you. Hey, dragon, dragon, not lizard. I don't do that tongue thing. You're, um... Intimidating? Or inspiring? Tiny. Of course. I'm travel size for your convenience. If I was my real size, your cow here would die of fright. <laughs> Down, Bessie. I got a new binder, and I'm really excited, and I really want to show you, so. This binder is from Spectrum Outfitters. <laughs> I've been meaning to try them for a long time. I've seen them all over my TikTok feed, and I ordered it in a large. What's great about them is that they have um, discreet packaging, which is good for closeted people, um, and it's also like re recyclable packaging, and their products use recycled plastic, so generally, like, 
It's not pretty good. The order was packed by Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Before I try it on, let me show you the inside. So it's like the typical like mesh paneling. This seems soft. Seems soft. Sensory friendly seams, which is very nice. I have never been this flat. Very minimal side spillage. Can still breathe. It's quite comfortable. Let me put on the shirt. This is the best binder I've ever worn. 10 out of 10. Like, doesn't show when you're wearing a t-shirt, the material. Wow. And going to a Wild West themed party tonight, and I will be wearing this binder all night long. And so if anyone is interested, I can update you all on how that goes. How is only Master has given Dobby a Glock. Dobby is confused. When somebody says, oh my god, that's like so gay, don't even try to educate them on why it's wrong to say that. Because then you just turn into, bro, I'm obviously joking. Like, can you not take a joke? Get over yourself. Instead, play ignorant and pretend you don't understand what they mean. Say, uh, sorry, gay? What do you mean by that? Because then they have to explain themselves and they start to realize on their own why it's an awful thing to say. This is how it will go. Oh my god, bro, that's like so gay. Yeah, what do you mean? Gay? It, it doesn't... How is it homosexual? They're like, oh, no, no, like, I mean, like, it, it's stupid. Wait, so are you saying that gay people are stupid? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not homophobic. So what do you mean then? It's gay. See? Their own line of reasoning doesn't fucking make sense. I used to hang out with a lot of guys in high school who would say things like this that I knew weren't homophobic deep down. They were just copying what everyone else was doing. And the more I started just like pointing out with questions, the less they started doing it. So try it yourself. You burn my house to the ground! My family's dead! What do I do? We are absolutely going to hate this announcement. We don't run this city. The rats do. so many trans flags. Why? I'm about to tell you. The most famous trans flag was designed by a trans woman, Monica Helms, in 1999. The pale pink and blue represent the traditional colors assigned to girls and boys, and the white line represents genders and identities in the middle. In 2015, Raquel Willis changed the white stripe to black to represent black lives. There are and continue to be other flags that represent the trans community as well. The same year Helms' flag was created, Jonathan Andrew made a flag with the same ideas in mind. And there's also this one that's used in Israel, and this one's used in Canada. Be you and stay gay. Best part of being bisexual? Everybody is hot. He's hot. She's hot. They're hot. And of course by hot, I mean beautiful human beings whose inner beauty and outer aesthetic transcend the shabby constructs of gender. You know, there is nothing more jarring than meeting a trans masculine person who's misogynistic. Lest we not forget our humble beginnings, sir. Like, what in the hell? Breaking news, Cambridge Dictionary has just updated their definition of woman. Let's take a look-see, shall we? Previously, woman, as defined by Cambridge Dictionary, used to read an adult female human being. They have updated it to include an adult who lives and identifies as female, though they may have been said to have a different sex at birth. I have asked the question, what is a woman, what is a man, on my platform? And I was met with this. Transphobic, non-misogynistic way to describe men. Whether it be physical features, characteristics, whatever. You said let men be men, right? But what is a man? Yeah. Uh, find a definition for a man that is not transphobic or misogynistic. How about no? How about I'm just going to define what a man is? And how about it's going to be the definition? <laughs> how, about, how about it's going to be the tried and true definition of a biological man? Born a man. Well, would you look at that? It seems as though they can no longer use it's just the definition as a way to invalidate trans identities. They will find another way. They always do. 
I'm just the messenger reporting the fact that they can no longer use the dictionary as their scapegoat. And I think we'll start to notice a shift in the attitudes relating to the dictionary. Just last week, that used to be their gotcha moment. The dictionary says so, so you're wrong. This week, I anticipate they're gonna say, oh, well, the dictionary is wrong. I, I disagree with that definition. What happened to the dictionary being the end all be all? <laughs> what, what happened to that? Anyways, do with that information what you will. Everyone say it with me now. Trans women are women. Trans men are men. The dictionary says so. Argue with your mama. But for real, argue with Cambridge if you have a problem. Not with me. Oh my god, you grew up into a fine young woman. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I remember when you were just a little girl. You were my little princess. Now look at you. You're about to be a freshman in college. Beautiful young woman. Beautiful, beautiful. You got wonderful tits. Pussy, pussy, boobs, queen, woman, 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 woman. I'm going to be rating how gay uh, my closeted looks are. This was closeted. <laughs> so look at my nails. Uh, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Pink hair, rainbow scarf, and yeah. the rainbow nails. Also, I think I was holding like a girl's hand, so. Oh, please. <laughs> Eight out of ten. Because I think okay. there's so much pink happening that there's some sort of LGBT that's trying to come out. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I see that. There's some sort of self-expression. There's some sort of loud and proud there. Yes, I agree. yes. Okay. Loud and proud. Loud and proud and... and Eight out of ten. Homosexual. Bring a suit. And what, wait, what was the caption for this one? Uh, when they call you daddy. <laughs> and guess who's calling you daddy in the bedroom? Women. <laughs> shop at Brandy Melville and bully you. Yes, you would, but I, <laughs> <laughs> but I think you were overcompensating yes. so much and trying to act trying straight. Trying to act so straight. So I give this a three like out of lip, ten. The little lip thing I did. The lip, I mean, come on. And like sticking the tongue out. So, so is this like an 11 out of 10? Like it's so straight that it's, it's gay? You know, I have a queer kid. You have a kid. Gender fluid. You're cool with it. I'm not a monster, Jake. When you first left me, I was one and more. But you were fucking that girl next door. What'd you do that for? What'd you do that for? When you first left me, I didn't know what to say. I've never been on my own that way. Just sat by myself. that you have been queer enough today. Ah, I see um, on second glance that I, I was wrong. You are very queer. Okay, yeah, you, you keep doing that. Okay, bye. Yeah, queer, woo!